Good morning, everybody. It is about 10.30 a.m. Sunday morning, December 8th, I think. Um, it's just Lily and I in the house at the moment. See, she's like waiting for us to like do something. Um, <laughs> I've got to go upstairs. Um, her parents are not here yet, and Bob went out to a Masonic Lodge function. So it's just her and I. I have a women's group conference call. My sister's group, anyway. So I'm gonna go upstairs and get ready for that. I've got some watercolor palette reorganization I wanna work on. And before I get too far ahead of the game with that, meaning that I have ideas in my head for, ooh, I should do this palette, ooh, I should do that palette. I should work on the ones I've already started. So yeah, that's gonna be a thing. <laughs> Um, in between though, I can't make too big of a mess on the art table and leave it there because at this time of year we use it for gift wrapping. So it's going to be an interesting few days. <laughs> That's all I can say. Uh, anyway, um, we've had some... Good morning, everybody. It's Monday morning, December 9th. It's 9.57 a.m. And so everybody is settling in in the house and things are good. Um, lots of wildlife around this morning. Um, and things are good. I am back from Facebook jail, <laughs> at least uh, for the moment, we'll see. I've. Um, use the opportunity of everything that's going on on social media, Facebook, YouTube, whatever, um, to change how I'm doing things, um, change up social media banners, clean up the YouTube channel. That includes changing up the way I post on Facebook. So I am going to be posting every day, but not every day in every group. Um, we're going to have select posts and select groups on certain days. Like today, Monday is um, a life of art and self-expression, so I did that. And um, I scheduled the Wednesday post for a life of art and self-expression, which also, um, that there's also one coming on Wednesday. And I'm not really doing more than two actual posts and one scheduled post on any given day. We'll see if that we'll see if that helps. And um, yeah, it's all I can do is give it a try. I need to do some business ads today, but first I'm gonna head out to Joanne's because I need to get some fabric for a Christmas gift I need to make this week, and I need some more glossy accents. Um, I just bought a bottle uh, the other week and I need, I'm almost out, so I need some more. And then when I get back, I need to, um, maybe put on a little bit of makeup and try to film a new channel trailer. So, yeah, busy, busy, busy. Got to do some laundry. I've got to finish the last couple of watercolor reorganization boxes send some surplus stuff off to a friend and yeah all that kind of stuff so it's always something right all right that's it for the moment I am going to get my butt over to Joanne's and see if I can find some fabric I like for the project I need to make and I will be back okay got the fabric I was looking for What's, well I should say I got some fabric it wasn't exactly what I was looking for but I think it'll work I got another roll of zipper just because the bag I'm gonna make has a lot of zippers and I'm not exactly sure how much I have at home I forgot to look I got some more glossy accents and I found one um, collage art little magazine thing for really cheap so I picked that up it was in their clearance aisle I got like $11 off probably more than that um, got a bunch of money off on the purchase plus I got another 10% back on Ibotta and so saved a bunch of money those that don't know, I'm a big couponer. I don't do any of 
that crazy couponing stuff, but if there's a coupon for something, I'm going to use a coupon for it, so, um, if I've got to buy it, so, anyway, uh, that's it, I'm going to head home, I'm going to put my stuff away, I've got a couple more watercolor palettes to finish before I can start on the sewing, but now I have the stuff, so as soon as the table is free, I can work on the bag. Sounds like a plan to me, anyway. In the meantime, I can dig the pattern out. Hopefully I filed it away where I think I did. All right, that's it, I'll be back. Twelve twenty two p.m. Tuesday, December 10th. Um, YouTube Apocalypse Day. Not that anything's happened, so I guess that's good. I was wrapping some Christmas presents. I'm working on a sewing project on the table for a Christmas gift and um, trying to get used to my new social media schedule and advertising schedule and yeah, just kind of catching up on projects after doing nothing but YouTube edits last week. <laughs> so, you know, things kind of piled up a little bit. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to go eat some lunch right now. I got all the pieces for the sewing project pressed and the interfacing fused and things trimmed. And so I'm going to take a break and go have some lunch.
I'll be back. Hey guys, good morning. It is Wednesday morning, December 11th, 8.45 a.m. Don't get all excited. I only know this because I have a doctor's, uh, well, dentist appointment. I am headed to the dentist to get my permanent crowns put in. And I've already been on the computer doing my social media thing. I was up kind of late last night catching up on projects after spending a week literally working on the YouTube channel solid six to eight hours a day um, and I think I'm finally caught up I think so now I can focus on 2020 projects and line things up so that I can do a bunch of filming over the Christmas holiday the kids are going to be gone for a few days over the holiday back in California with Polyus's parents so the house will be quiet so I can get a few videos for January filmed get a little bit ahead for 2020 so that's the plan That's the first thing she says. Oh, I look awful. And the fans would beg to disagree. Um, so since Rebecca and Paulius have been living here, I have learned about how much they not only love Christmas, which is a good thing, but how much they shop online. We get so many deliveries at the door. And it's, what even time is it? It, it looks is, like it's like 10 well, o'clock. It's 4.30. 4.30. I know it looks black outside the kitchen there, window there, but it is only 4.30. We got yet another delivery, this time from the infamous Jaclyn Hill, because Rebecca ordered her highlighters, and there's kind of a running, it's not really a joke, I don't know, thing around the internet how her orders are often packaged incorrectly. When Rebecca got the brushes the other day, there was no invoice. All the, what she ordered was in there, but there was no invoice. Some people place their order and they order one highlight. They get a case of 24. It's a documented thing. Look it up. She got what she ordered. I did get an invoice. I'll cover her address. I got an invoice this time. And I was expecting like 
10 products because I wasn't sure what shipping is doing over there. But I only got my two that I ordered, so Yay. I'm excited. So show us what that looks like in person. Okay, so this is the Flash palette. Apparently they're like made in Italy, so fancy. Yeah. I'm not I'm not a beauty guru, so you know. Neither am I. So, and yeah. then I got her luminous powder in Do Me D E W. Just want to specify. Okay. And it's all sealed. It looks good. My thoughts aren't clean ones, so I'm keeping my mouth shut. She is my daughter. <laughs> but everything looks really good. Okay, good. Um, if you're familiar with the whole like lipstick gate situation, yeah. there are like weird things floating in the products, and so far so good. Yay! So. so, and the brushes seemed like they were really nice. In fact, I told Rebecca when she, when I, we were looking at them, they'd make really good watercolor brushes. <laughs> They're really, really soft. Pretty like, sure Becca doesn't want me doing that with no, her brushes, but no. you know. I spent too much money on them. Anyway, we probably should start thinking about what we're making the boys for dinner at some <laughs> point. We'll be back. guys it's just after 3 p.m. on Thursday December 12th don't get excited I've looked uh, I spent the morning working on 2020 YouTube collaboration and Facebook art group stuff um, getting things ready kind of working at the last minute here but you know what are you gonna do so snuck out of the house without the dog or the kid to go walking and get some steps in yeah because that's a thing I'll be back and FYI neighbor ladies like staring me down <laughs> she's driving by over there who is this crazy woman walking the neighborhood talking to herself yeah that'd be me all right I'll be back Hey guys, it's Friday evening, 5.25 p.m., Friday, December 13th. I nearly made it unscathed through Friday the 13th, but evidently I typed something I thought was innocent in a chat room, um, uh, message, blah, 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 Facebook Messenger chat earlier today that was misinterpreted by someone, so I'm just straightening that out right now. You got to be really careful about what you type because it can be read in a way that you didn't intend. And I do know that. I'm usually pretty careful, but evidently I screwed up. So it's all good though. I'll get it worked out. Every, anyway, other than that, we've just been puttering around the house today, which I'm okay with. You can hear Lily in the background. She's pacing. There she is. She knows daddy's upstairs, but she doesn't want to go up there after him, I don't think. Anyway, um, I got some more of the little teddy bears for charity cut out. Um, if I can, I'll find the picture of the original two that I made and put it here somewhere. So I have a few more cut out. So over the coming weeks, I'll be working on putting those together. And I also got my newer issue of Artists Magazine in. So I can't wait to read that. There's another um, article from Danny Gregory who um, has some books on daily drawing practice. I will um, 
link a website or his Amazon page or something in the description. Uh, I also have a my Frida Kahlo, uh, the Diary of Frida Kahlo, which I want to read, which are both both sitting out here. So anyway, that's it. I'll be working on some daily drawings and stuff at, later after dinner, and yeah, just chilling for the moment, bracing for the Christmas shopping that we have to do tomorrow. Oh joy! All right, I'll be back. vlogged today I'm not even sure I know there's some footage of us going to the Adidas store um, we went back again today we went there last week uh, we needed to return a few things that were the wrong sizes and also pick up one more gift from there so we did that and then I then we went to the hardware store and I came home and I dropped off my husband so he and the kids could go do some Christmas shopping and then I went I had the fun job of going to the grocery store I know, right? So I'm back home and everything's unpacked and put away. I had some lunch. I'm gonna put Christmas lights in the in the art room windows here upstairs. I didn't do that last year, but I'm gonna do it this year. Um, I was looking around the house to see if we had two extra timers. The husband thought we did, but I can't find them. I'm gonna go look in one more place downstairs. It's possible they're under the kids' stuff in the garage which, you know, there's stuff everywhere right now. The state of my spare room at the moment, which is storage slash office slash their living room. Let's see, hang on. Yep, see, there's their TV. Um, their, their space. Um, so yeah. The garage is, you know, looking the same. Until they get a house, it's going to look like this. So, you know, it is what it is. But anyway, we're happy to help, sort of. <laughs> no, no, really, we're happy to help. All right, I'm going to go look downstairs for those timers. And if I can't find any, then, um, yeah, the husband's messaging me. He'll pick some up at the hardware store. So that might be what we do. All right, I'll be back.
Okay, I took the screens out of the two windows. And in this house, our screens are on the inside of the glass rather than the outside of the glass. In the old house, they were on the outside. So in the old house, we had windows that slid open this way for the most part. And um, so the screen was on the outside. On these, um, we have some that the screen is on the outside, but a, uh, quite a few of our windows crank open, including the ones in the art room and the screen is on the inside because the window's got a crank open. So anyway, I um, put the lights on the glass, so I removed the two screens and I put them in the closet and um, I got some extension cords and I've got them plugged in and we're gonna go take a look outside and see how they look. It's still light out, but let's go see what happens. Coming in and out of the door, it disturbed Lily. Not that she like tries hard to go find me because you know, I'm not grandpa. She really loves the men in the family. The women were just here. And at this point, I think she gave the FedEx guy a cursory bark and then that was it. She didn't bother to get up off the couch. I think it's just too many people have knocked on the door. Okay, so we came outside now that all the lights are on so that we could see what it looked like. It looks so much better. Hang on, I'll show you all. look pretty. We've got the little tree, where are we? Oh, there we are. We've got the little tree lit up. We've got the two windows upstairs lit up. It's all good. We've got the bushes lit up in yeah, the front. Yeah, it looks good. It's very Christmassy. A lot of Christmas cheer. A lot of Christmas cheer. Yeah. That's the end of our week. We hope you've had a good one. We are going to enjoy, I think, sitting home alone, having pizza, and hanging out. Don't tell the children. <laughs> They're going out for the evening, and I think we're kind. I think we're, we're kind of we're kind of glad. <laughs> but it's okay. We love them, but everybody needs their peace and quiet. We are puppy sitting, but that's okay. Yeah, she's fine. She's fine, yeah. She's fine. Anyway, we hope you've had a good week. We have too, and um, I think we're done with Christmas shopping. God, I hope. Pretty much. It's very peoply out there. Very peoply. Yeah. All right, that's it for today. We hope you have a good one. Go out and have a good day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and we'll see you later. Bye, guys.